transport uh, is responsible for roughly one-fifth of CO2 emissions globally. And at the same time, the number of cars keeps on growing, especially in urban environments. It takes time until electric cars are able to take over, and even then they only solve part of the problem, as congestions and um, uh, parking lots taking up a valuable city space are also concerns that we cannot simply overlook. Uh, the only sustainable way is to think of urban commuting beyond the use of personal cars. And this means taking public transport experience to a totally new level. Now, how can we do that? Firstly, public transport can only take you to the bus stop, not to your final destination. And that's where our solution lies. By picking you up at the bus stop and taking you to the doorstep, our fleet of autonomous vehicles is ready to contribute to make... Um, public transport a lot more attractive and a lot more effective, thus leading more people opting for public transport instead of using personal cars and thus leading to less personal cars in our streets. Because our vehicles drive relatively slow in pre-mapped areas, they can be already legally operated in many countries across the globe. So far we have been operating in 10 countries, but the number keeps on growing at accelerating pace. Overtech is an Estonian company that has designed, developed and manufactured a fleet of autonomous vehicles, including the world's first autonomous vehicle that runs on hydrogen. And our vehicles can be operated both in public traffic and also closed or semi-closed areas. So in a nutshell, too many cars in our streets. Let's find a solution and um, let's start thinking next level urban commuting beyond the use of personal cars. Thank you very much. Nice one, Tavi. Good to see you again. Mate. Hi, great to see you. Nice. Let's walk and talk a little bit. Let's do this. Now, I love Alvatech. However, I, even me, I can name three or four other well-funded robo-taxi companies. Mm -hmm. What's different about Alvatech? Well, there is room for several uh, uh, companies in uh, autonomous space, but uh, our business model and philosophy is somewhat different than robot taxis because instead of uh, making better cars, we make uh, the model for people to use commuting beyond cars. So take a combination of bus plus an uh, autonomous vehicle. And, but the technology, having said that, is actually very similar. We also use lighters, cameras. Um, the autonomous part is pretty, pretty similar. And even Elon Musk has said that uh, the full self-driving is not as easy as it might, might look. <laughs> but I would add to that, last mile autonomous is already possible and Overtech can do it. Okay, I like that. So, because you, you spoke about who is sort of the end customer, end user, let's say, mm -hmm. but who is your typical, like who's buying one of these units from you? Well, it's a service model basically to operate and to offer a service, okay. but uh, the customers have been uh, first uh, cities, uh, then uh, large uh, public transport companies, and increasingly also uh, real estate developers who hmm. develop, for example, the places where we work. Yeah. So if like only one person chooses to take a bus plus autonomous vehicle instead of taking uh, their personal car, uh, he or she frees up roughly 20, per, uh, 20 square meters of land. And any real estate developer who can understand the value of this land is probably calling us and saying, you know, what can we do to opt for your service? I love it. Tremendous company. Thank you very much for your Thank time you. today.